Okay, welcome back to 1.13. This is probably the hardest bit of, um, of the, all of binary hexadecimal and number conversions. We're going to be working with negative um, denary numbers, and we're going to convert these into binary numbers using two's complement. How do we do this? Let's have a little look. Like you saw in video 1.12, if you watched it, we're going to set out, create an 8-bit register, 1, 2... 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. But this 1 to 8 is a minus number. And because we're working in minus numbers, this always starts, if it's a negative number, it has a 1 here to represent negative numbers. Now then, to get to this, we need to add the positive numbers on to get it up to minus 18. If I start with minus 1, 2, 8, and I've got to get to minus 18, I've got to add positive 1, 1, 0 to it. So if I add positive 1, 1, 0, I end up with minus 18. So in these numbers here, these are all positive numbers, I've got to add some of these numbers together in order to get this from minus 128 up the number line up to minus 18. So let's have a little look at this. If I start with minus 128 and I add 64 to it, I'm going to get minus 64. Okay, so I'm going to add that to it. If I then add plus 32 to this, I'm going to end up with the number minus 32. Okay, so I can do that. And if I add 16 to this, I would end up with minus 16. I'm trying to get to minus 18. So I'm going to stick a zero in there. So now if, I'm going to go on to the next line, got minus 32. I'm going to add 8 to it. I should end up with minus 24. Okay, so I can stick a 1 in there. To that, I'm going to add the 4 to get to minus 20. Okay, I've got to get to minus 18, so I can add 2 to that. And that will give me minus 18. So add the 2, nothing left for the 0. So this is how I would write the 2's complement version of minus 18. We must put a 1 under the 1 to 8 in order for that to work. And then we're adding the consecutive numbers to it. It's not the easiest task. Not the easiest task at all. But we'll do a couple more and see how we get on. Okay, nice and slowly. Okay, so we've got minus 47. It's a minus number, so we put a 1 in here. Now, how do we get from minus 128 to minus 47? Well, let's have a little look. If we start again with minus 128 plus 64 equals minus 64, that means we put a 1 in there, okay? If I add 32, I would end up with minus 32. I've gone too far, so this needs to be a 0. What about 16? Adding plus 16 to this would give me 48, so I can do that. So plus 16 would equal negative 48. I need to get down to negative 47, so... I can put a 1 in there, none of those, none of those, none of those, add the 1 to it, plus 1 would equal negative 47. Let's do one more. Let's do one, well, let's do, we'll do H and we'll do J because they're a bit strange, aren't they? Okay, let's have a go at doing H because this one and this one, J, 
seem to be the, the weirdest. They're obviously extreme values based on this figure of minus 128. So, as always, we put a 1 down here. We're going to start with minus 128. We're going to go plus 64, which is going to equal minus 64. So we can put 1 in there. We're going to add 32, which is going to equal minus 32. So again, put a 1 in there. And you can see the pattern. Plus 16 equals minus 16. Put a 1 in there. Plus 8 equals minus 8. Put that in there. Minus 8 plus 4 equals minus 4. We're going to put that in there. Plus 2 equals minus 2. Plus 1 equals minus 1. So we need 1 and 1 in there. So this, so this gives us the answer to 8, which is basically minus 1. See if you can guess what minus 1 to 7 might be based on that. Let's have a little look at J now, and obviously there's a pattern developing in terms of what we've just seen with um, with H. So, minus 127. Basically, I've got to put this in, remember. I start with minus 128. How do I get to minus 127? Well, basically I add a 1 equals minus 127. So with that in mind, I don't need any of those, or that, or that, or that, any of that. I don't need that. All I need to do is add a 1 to it, and that will give me this answer here. That's how you do it. It is difficult. You need to practice this, um, but it will click. So let me put the answers up, and you will be able to see at a glance. As you can see, A, 18, probably the hardest one on there. But the easy ones, H at the end, yeah, all the ones, and then J, 1, plus the one at the end. So that is it. So, until next time, thank you very, very much indeed. We're going to move on to 1.14 next. I will see you next time. Bye for now.